this was the first thing that I ever made, um, 14, 15 years ago. Um, and I don't even know why I started making lights. I was very interested in also always about the numbers. I mean, I'm of course, I'm a designer and looking at you know, beautiful things, but I realized how expensive these technologies were. I mean, this is the first thing that I ever made and it cost me 5,000 euros at the time. And of course it made no commercial sense whatsoever. So I thought, you know what, but if I make it really tiny, I can still influence the entire interior of a space. And then maybe people might be able to willing, uh, might be able to pay that kind of money. And that whole experiment led into an entire collection of lights that we did with a, with a Belgian company called Materialize. And we started a company together called Materialize.mgx. You know, commercial was very, very successful. This is something, covers for uh, smartphones. Something that we started with uh, uh, other friends of mine, we started a company together uh, a few years ago to focus on trying to figure out a high moving, highly you know, profitable consumer product that would be able to be printed with, with 3D printers. And we came to the whole smartphone scenario and, and that was the pretty much the most successful thing that we've done so far in, in, in uh, regards to the numbers of products that we've sold. This is the latest thing that I've been busy with. Um, I met these guys last week. Because now we have all these applications that we have uh, um, the possibility to capture yourself, capture your fingerprint, you know, your walking pattern or your, your hand or, you know, scan anything that we want as an easy way to capture your uh, personal imprint and make that in 3D. So what I did, I made this uh, knobs uh, of my own head into this OP1 uh, device. A lot of fun. And here we have um, the cube which is a very, well, it's, it's our first consumer-friendly uh, 3D printer. You pretty much buy it as it is. You go home, put on the material, put on a USB stick, or you know, feed the machine with a wireless, uh, in a wireless way, feed a file into it, and then you can print anything you want. So here's uh, one, of our, one of my colleagues here, Ilko. Even the print plate comes out very easy. So yeah, you can, you can make functional uh, rubber uh, uh, sneakers. There's a pair of uh, sneakers that we printed. So then one of those experiments, I started looking into making different kinds of natu natural structures. So this is one of the famous trays also uh, that went to the MoMA probably 2004 or five. As, as a creative person, where, where do you put your um, energy into? So I made a light, which is called the 1597, which is also went in, in, into all these museum collections. And I, I took, it took me about six months to make it. And I made hundreds of different kinds of files in order to get exactly what I wanted. So I put an enormous amount of passion into it. But the final piece was, was very expensive. But we sold quite a lot of them and I, I was very happy with it. But I thought like, you know what, I could, I could maximize. And let's not make it that big, let's make it smaller, uh, more consumer friendly, put everything in Excel and try to see how we could maximize the profits. And then we hardly sold any. This is what I wanted to make money of. And the other one was the one that I put my passion into, which was you know, 10 times more expensive. But that one we sold well and the other one we didn't. So it, I don't know why, but it's the foolish playfulness, you're so interested in something that there's some energy in there that you, you feel, you don't know, you can't put your finger on it, but those things always tend to work. The same thing with my company as well. I mean, I started, started a company with absolutely, completely pointless, bogus business plan, you know? And I also went to a lot of banks and I tried to get finance for it and I told them like, you know what, uh, one day the world will be in a way that I can put my entire company's worth in this USB stick. And that was probably, you know, 10 years ago. And everybody said, no, that's never going to happen. We're not going to give you any finance because your business plan is completely bogus. So, well, then 10 years later, I sell my company with exactly that same, same idea. So just if I would, you know, be able to inspire any young artists out there, just don't listen to anybody, just follow your passion and it will find its own way.